Assalamualaikum and good morning to you, my dear friends. You are tuned in to the Voice of the Hanuman Mission, our weekly educational segment entitled The Beauty of Knowing. I am yours, Ruli Mahanji, Dr. Balium Shady. This morning's topic or question is What is a mantra? Why do we use mantras? And where do mantras come from? First of all, the English vocabulary of mantra would mean different things depends on which dictionary you search. My paraphrasing to you, a mantra is simply a call, a divine call, a clarion call, which connects you and God. That is what a mantra is. A mantra is like your telephone. But if you don't use that telephone or you don't activate that telephone, you cannot make a call. You can have a mantra if it's not activated, if it's not used, if it's not siddhi, as we say, then you can never connect to God. So many spiritualists would use various mantras. Om Papa, Om Papa, Karmaham Papa, Atma Papa, Samavat, Rahim, Ampundri, Kaksham, Sarva Papa, Harori. That's almost the very first mantra you see most spiritually used. And they'll offer some water in that prostration. Or you'll, they'll recite various different mantras. Many people have unique mantras to them. There are two ways we get mantras. It's called Shruti and Smriti. Smriti is something that's written in a text that we read, we follow, and we use as one of the Shastras, the Vedas, the Ramayana. Those are texts that are documented. That's a, you will hear about the Manu Smriti, for example. Shruti is something that's revealed. It's revealed to man. That's why you're in the, in the Guru Shishya relationship, the Guru and the Chela, where the Guru teaches the mantra something by air. That is why in the Hindu system, a lot of it is a relationship between the Guru and the student. And a lot of mantras are, are taught by verb, by verbal, by speaking. It is not written. It is not documented. So if you go back to look for it, you cannot find it. When a message from God comes, it's not written. It is spoken. Many spirituals get revelation, as we say. We get this vision. Mantras either used from a text or it's revealed to you. Those are the two ways that mantras come to people. How a mantra has become effective? A mantra become effective, the best way, the most potent way of a mantra is when we get what we call mantra diksha or mantra siddhi. When a guru or learned scholar grants you diksha or grants you the ability or the willingness or the lesson of a mantra, they recite it to you and they tell you, from today I give you diksha. I wish you the bless. They raise their hand like that and they give you Ashurvada Diksha. That mantra becomes yours with Diksha. It becomes energized. It becomes potent. Now you can use that mantra for certain things. I'm not saying if you take a mantra from a book, you cannot. But for deep spiritualists who use mantras to do pujas, to recite, to help people, to cure, to jare, to for whatever we do, mantras must be what we say Siddhikari. We have to earn siddhi or shakti, those mantras have to become powerful. You may have gone to a puja or ritual of some sort, jandi, and you hear spiritualists chanting and you never feel moved for whatever reason. And then you may go somewhere else, not as divine setting as the first or the other place. And the minute that spiritualists open the first, Hari Om, the first word that you hear, suddenly you close your eye and that Shakti takes over your body. The potency of that mantra, the potency of that call to God, the potency of that prayer, if you wish, has energized you already. And that is when you know a mantra is actually powerful. So as I summarize this to you, what is a mantra? A mantra is a compilation, short verses of prayer that's put together to connect you and God. It's a clarion call between you and God. It is your way to connect to God. Mantras are given, it's revealed, or it's recited from a text, or it's learned from a text. Mantras are used to do pujas, jandis, rituals, and other samskars that we perform as Hindus. Mantras are what we use to bring a devotee to God. It is usually channeled through a spiritualist, your priest, or whoever else, in your organization. So my dear friends, on this short note on mantra, this is what Hindus use, this is why we use it, this is how it becomes effective, and this is how it becomes potent. Until next week, for the beauty of knowing, 
I am yours truly, Mahanji, Dr. Balram Jedi, thanking all sponsors for 2014. And we see you again. Have a safe week. Jai Sitaram.